Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Morals and Minutes. I am Muhammad Ali and today we will talk about moderation. We as humans tend to always overuse our blessings. Studies have shown that through moderation in one's economics affair is the number one result to success in life. Islam does not say do not buy such and such, do not spend money and buy such clothes or such perfume etc. As a matter of fact, the religion of Islam emphasizes on dressing well, eating well and being clean. But the problem lies in overspending and over-purchasing. Studies have shown that the key to a happy life and successful family is moderation. Henceforth, Islam has placed a high emphasis on moderation in every category. Even though the current studies in the West in the last decades or so have emphasized moderation, Islam has emphasized moderation 1400 years ago in their practices and traditions. Let us hear some of these golden words of wisdom from the Prince of Eloquence, Imam Ali peace be upon him, he said, I ensure that he who economize will never become indigent, meaning poor. This here is an ensure from the Imam peace be upon him that the individual who spends in moderation will not face poverty. In another tradition narrated by Imam Qadim, peace be upon him, he says, if people had a moderate habit in eating, their bodies would become strengthened. In this narration, the Imam, peace be upon him, is speaking about moderation in one's consumption of food and that proper consumption of food would strengthen one's body. In conclusion, you can see the high importance of moderation and the emphasis that Islam has placed on moderation. This is all from the golden words of our Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family, and his holy progeny, peace be upon them. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.